My name is Rakesha Chase and welcome to WTVE's Black History Special. We're here on the set of Urban Unity and I have with me Frank Gilliard, the founder of the Central PA African American Museum. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. I know for a fact that you are a piece of African American history in Berks County. You are the first, the president of the Service Employees International Local Chapter, the first African American, and you're also the first African American technician at both St. Joe's and Warnersville Hospitals. That's right. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, in 1952, I went to uh, St. Joe's Hospital. I was the first Afro-American to be hired there as a medical lab technician. And in 1964, I was the first African-American hired at Warnersville State Hospital as a medical lab technician. So how did you come to found the museum? Uh, I came to found the museum with, uh, through Burke's leadership in 1998 with the 250th anniversary of the city of Reading. Uh, we had a project and we decided that on the project that we would open up the old church as a museum since I had a collection at that time that was a collection of over 30 years of material. So the things that are in the museum are all your personal collection? Practically, uh, I would say 95% of those are from my collection. So all of the history, all of the things that you managed to f collect together, you went out and found them all yourself, like even the interviews and whatnot? Uh, I went out, I had the interviews, I had the collection, uh, I went to auctions, I went to uh, Leesport auctions, and the vendors would bring me in things there, uh, and I talked to the older people in the neighborhood, people in the churches, and asked them for their history, or I would duplicate their history, uh, and that's how I did their collection. Okay. So I'm, I'm getting totally ahead of myself. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself first? I was start? born and raised here in uh, Reading, Pennsylvania in 1930. Uh, I'm the fourth child out of five. My father's name was William C. Goyard. My mother's name was Mary M. Goyard, and they came from the state of South Carolina in the early 1900s. I was uh, a depression child, uh, and there are things that uh, children today would not realize that I realize, and uh, I thank God that I was born at that time because it's an era that, uh, of history that uh, I love to tell because it has a true story and a survival story that I love to tell. You want to tell us a little bit of it now? <laughs> I would love well, to uh, coming out of the depression, uh, and I, I think about when school days was over and uh, after, and we would play, we would play what we call marbles uh, in the dirt mm -hmm. in the neighborhood, or we would play what you call chew the peg, uh, a game that we don't play anymore today. Uh, you would take a stick and you would uh, have a knife and you would put the knife up in the air through your fingers uh, and flip it and it had to go stick in the ground. If it didn't stick in the ground then you had to take the peg and hit it down a little bit further into the ground until oh, it got wow. close to the ground and you had to chew the peg with your mouth to get it out of the, out of the dirt. So that was wow. called chew the peg. Uh, and the thing is that it was a neighborhood of different cultures and we were all family. Uh, we had Polacks, we had Slovaks, we had uh, Italians, we had English people, and we had Negroes. And we all were a family, and you recognize that because whatever that person said to you, it was the same thing as your mother or father speaking to you. Oh, okay. So it was, a, as I say, it was a family community. And the things that we didn't realize until after we got out of the neighborhood, we went to school, uh, we came across other cultures that were not in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we would be torn by different names, calling and stuff like that, that we were not used to. Okay. Uh, and we would get into fights about those things. I hate to cut you off, but we have to take a break. So when we come back with WTV's Black History Special, you can tell us a little bit about some of the other historical black families in Reading. Okay. Thank you.